a lot of people go to the etymology of the English word for worship, which they derive from an Anglo-Saxon root, worthship, worship. Uh, and so talk about worship as ascribing value uh, to God, giving him the glory that is, is, is his due, which is not wrong, uh, but it is a bit incomplete, right? Because uh, you could offer that kind of God to the God, of, uh, that kind of worship to the God of Islam, uh, a God who's utterly transcendent, but has never come close to humanity. But in, in the Bible, worship is, uh, is offered to the God who has come near to his people, the God who has a relationship with his people. Uh, and so I think, I think we need to draw that aspect out as well. And I think the, the old uh, ancient Near Eastern uh, concept of a covenant gives us the categories to think about uh, uh, worship in. Uh, you, uh, the the, uh, the uh, uh, vassal uh, would have to present himself regularly to the suzerain king several times a year. Uh, and uh, he would bring tributes with him when he came. Uh, and uh, he would have to uh, relate to the king's friends and enemies in particular ways. Uh, and the climax, of course, of that meeting together would be a covenant meal uh, in which they would celebrate the, the, the wholeness of their uh, relationship. Uh, and so I think these, these kinds of categories gives us, give us a way of thinking about worship uh, in relational terms. Uh, it, we are called to be the people of the great king which involves vertical relationship, a relationship with God, but also horizontal relationships, relationships with one another. And so as we gather on Sunday mornings, we are uh, doing both of those things. There's that horizontal dimension. We gather certainly to give God the glory that is his due, but we also gather to encourage one another. Uh, that's why we're not to neglect meeting together, but uh, all the more as we see the day approaching to persist in that. Uh, that's why we're to sing, right? So that the word of Christ will dwell richly in our hearts, right? We don't just sing in order to glorify God, we sing in order to edify uh, and encourage one another. Uh, all of these themes, I think, hang together uh, under this broad category of this covenant relationship of the great king and his people.